Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I am Exorf and uh, we are trying and failing miserably at uh, defeating uh, Champion Gundur? Gundur? I keep pronouncing it in every different way every time I say it. I should just stick with something. Uh, Gundur. Let's call it Gundur. Um, anyway, I was kind of curious because this uh, should be Lothi Castle. Which, and we, I know that we've seen Lottery Castle for, from around the area where we're actually fighting, uh, this guy. So I'm sort of wondering if the, um, if the, uh, what do you call it, the layout actually makes sense. Like, maybe we're actually, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe we're actually coming out of the place we've seen in the normal version of this place to and arrived in the dark version of this place just because of that somehow. Not that I have any understanding of how it actually works, but... No! Oh. I think this is the fourth attempt. We had some serious trouble with this guy. Up until now. Why am I going into his grab attack? I'm just trying to get some sort of distance to him. I'm very curious if it's actually possible to carry it though. But that's definitely not the right moment to do so. <laughs> I'm sort of wondering if maybe keeping my distance from now for now is a good idea. Since he does do some nice uh, easier to dodge attack once he um, wants to tr try to catch up to me. Maybe he's slow and methodical. It's the best idea here. Maybe I should try a different weapon, even. Something stronger, where each hit really feels more. That was stupid of me! Yeah, the way you sort of get locked into attacks with this guy, the guy is just uh, infuriating. Okay, here comes that thing, and I'm... Trying to roll, but it does not work for this guy. What? Come on! That is infuriating. I am honestly feeling like this might be a time when I want to heal. Or, what am I saying? Um, when uh, summoning might be the right approach. <laughs> This guy is just too much for me. At least at the moment. Yeah. I suppose another thing could be to do with the whole uh, um, Undead Legion thing and uh, just sort of kill every enemy outside of that area and. Uh, then uh, summon or get summoned outside and just try to uh, redo the boss over and over right outside. It's just that there's a fair amount of enemies. It's kind of annoying, but that might be okay. Let's see uh, if this is gonna work out. Feels like we might be having some uh, issues here.
Well, I'm sort of curious if the sword, uh, sword monster might actually be a um, be a NPC summon. If we did fight that guy back in the uh, um, uh, back in the uh, filing crime. Okay, he's invincible when he's doing the grab attack. That's kind of annoying. Let's kill him. Thank God. Good job. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Not using those weird stones. <laughs> Closest thing we got to Boyd's chat in uh, in uh, the Soul series. I don't feel like I learned anything from that though. So maybe we'll just do that for some free ember and some free super simple practice. Um, but this thing is always here, right? So I guess this is an NPC then. The one we fought in the firelink shrine. I'm so curious about if I can, uh, if I can parry him. Can. I don't know how much it actually helps though. I'm not that awesome. But I might want to learn how how that works. That's kind of awesome. Yes, yes, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Am I slow rolling? What is going on? Oh shit, I can probably not use this, uh, <laughs> this sword like this, can I? That's kind of awesome! <laughs> oh my god, I really want to do that now. Maybe not that, though. And maybe not that either. That's kind of cool. I guess this is like how he was before. Uh, before he got all corrupted by the black stuff. So was he just champion and then he became corrupted somehow? I'm not exactly sure how that works, but... Um, okay, so we need to... Uh, Fix some equipment stuff so we don't slow roll with this weapon. We're barely above where we want to be, so... We definitely want the shield. Um, I suppose something that parries easier would maybe be even better. I mean, I'm mostly rolling anyway, so... I'm sort of curious about what happens if we try to do something like this instead. I guess... Uh, um, getting summoned is as good a place as any to to try to learn to parry. But yeah, this place seems to be fairly active at least. That's always nice. Hey, is it the same guy? Or does he just happen to have like the exact same freaking... Uh, uh, the, the same helmet? Maybe just people really like that helmet. We're summoning... How many people are you summoning? <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, that's definitely not the same character.
<laughs> this is just slaughter. I'm almost feeling bad for the guy. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> At least we succeeded. Do a good attack. I, ah! Uh, this is not as easy as I had hoped. There we go. I don't know why I thought would happen there. And I didn't use my... Yeah, okay. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> don't ask me why I didn't use my Tears of Denial. I really should have done that, but... For some reason I was just stupid there. Ha <laughs> thank you. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, this fight feels kind of fair. If you're fighting two guys. Or if you're two people. Nice one! Like, it doesn't get quite as crazy, I guess. Uh, like, three people felt totally overkill since there was always so much time to heal. Now it was sort of okay. Though I don't think I will be. I mean, I'm sort of starting to lean towards the idea that if you are. If I'm completely stuck at some point, it's probably better for me to just summon someone than to. Um, uh, than to just keep on being stuck forever, but I haven't had that problem before. Where I've been stuck for literally forever. Uh, then again, I think this this does feel like it's the toughest thing uh, thing I've met so far. Um, it's sort of crazy. There we go. Awesome. Good start. How did that not hit? How did that not hit? Seriously? Okay, I'm not understanding the timing here at all, obviously. I should have probably double tapped that. There we go. Probably too early than the other times. Like that fucking change is just ridiculous because it's like I literally don't have time to to get out of there. And kick, and I'm dead. Okay, maybe not. Okay. I, th I think uh, this parrying thing, at least with the parrying shield, is not working out there. <laughs> we might want to go for something different. I suppose we can get rid of these, since we're not really getting any su successive attacks on uh, uh, on this boss. I guess we could try to use this thing. Um, but I'm just worried that I will lose it if I try to unequip it. Is it a good time as any to actually go with it though? It doesn't increase HP by that much and doesn't increase um, equip load by that much either. Let's do that. 
could go with this and just increase our armor a lot. I'm wondering if that will offset the bonus from uh, from uh, using the Estus Ring. Let's do that. And uh, let's increase our armor by a bunch. But yeah, it's surprising because usually we'd have like so many like super duper clunky um, armor sets, but now we actually like even the most strong things actually look kind of. I guess you can't really call it like easy <laughs> to carry around, but uh, but like still. Oh, we got some uh, dancers stuff here. Come worn by the dancer of the royal valley, the mirage-like or aurora wheel veil is said to be an article of the old gods, permitted only for direct descendants of the old royal family. So yeah, this is probably a daughter of uh, Guinevere. The black eyes of the pontiff eventually transformed the dancer into a beastly creature, her armor, f armor fusing with her own hide. Alright, I don't even know what sort of number we're on at this point. There we go, thank you. Really appreciate it. Now he's probably gonna do his super thing. Yes. I kind of wish I had been smart enough to... Oh, I need to remember how to deal with that. Yes! I am a master! All of a sudden. Oh! <laughs> I just misjudged his attack completely, but somehow that worked anyway. Oh, that was me being stupid! Oh, god damn it, now I'm in such a big issue here! Fucking lock is so annoying. Like, why can't he just let me out of those fucking crap? <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? Let's just keep going for a bit longer. I'm just gonna try to beat him this time. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Um... And I'll probably keep on going in the next episode, because that felt pretty good, didn't it? You definitely want to, like, get close to him so you can try to do that attack. Or... You can try to lure that, but for some reason I'm totally planking on this now. I can't do this anymore. No, I can't. Okay. I guess we've uh, lost the flow that we have here. There we go.
I don't have any idea when I'm supposed to be doing that. I'm just going by, like, complete feel. But it seems to be working fairly okay. I wonder if it's going to do the... Maybe not. It does feel like it's only doing that every other time or something like that. Yes! I like that you can do it at a distance. Okay. It's not like that that didn't work though. Uh, you really need to know what you're doing here. You can't just sort of guess work your way around this. That was me being stupid. I did way too late there. There we go. That's more like it. It felt like it should have worked, but it didn't. I also felt like it should have worked, but okay, whatever. I can do this. It's, uh, I can see some sort of pattern here. Because it seems to want to do that sort of easily parryable attack every other time you approach him, or something like that. So, or roughly at least. So if I just keep that up, I think we're going to, this is going to work out, I think. I'm learning, I'm pretty sure. I think. Only a few more, I think. Why that did not work, I do not know. But it's kind of manageable now. Though, maybe I should, shouldn't talk so soon. There we go, thank you. I really wish it was more clear why it failed sometimes, though. There we go. This is it. 
It is it! Oh my god! Bang! Holy crap! Soul of Champion Ginder. Oh my god. Well. It was a bit of a cheesy solution, I guess. But still. That felt very, very skill-based in a really cool way. Uh, I've never been much of a parrier before, so that was kind of awesome. Um, let's check out the soul. Once a champion came late to the festivities and was greeted by a shrine without fire and a bell that would not toll. Is this like the past version of Gundyr? And he became the Yudix Gundyr when he came late to the festiv festivities somehow? Uh, or is this like an alternate version of the world? Where uh, things didn't go as planned, somehow. Um, regardless, uh, we are going to have to end this now. This was a very long recording, uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. Uh, next time we'll keep on heading in this direction and finally figure out what's in the shrine in this version of the the map. Uh, so until then, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Dark Souls Three. Bye-bye.